Welcome back to our Arc Genesis Let's Play series. This is a replay of one of our Arc Genesis live videos, and today we're going to show you how to tame a Triceratops in Arc Genesis in the volcanic biome. Now this was no easy task because the Triceratops we were trying to tame was guarded by two other level 50 Triceratops, and they were not going to make this easy for us. But having a Triceratops in Arc Genesis means unlimited narco berries, so you have all the tranks you will ever need for the rest of your tames, so this will be well worth all the trouble. We also got into quite an epic battle with some giant ants in the bog biome. Now Phoenix, our tribe mate, could not join us for the live Let's Play portion of this video, but he did still appear in this video, and uh, you'll probably get a kick out of that. Quick disclaimer, this video is not intended for kids and ARK is rated teen. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to this channel and ring the bell for all notifications because you won't want to miss the next video or live stream. Now let's get started! Alright, so I think we're in good shape. We're gonna go do some interesting stuff now. By the way, guys, uh, this is Phoenix, my tribe mate. He's like a little dwarf, and he sleeps like this. Um, it doesn't look very comfortable to me, but uh, he just kind of just kind of bends his legs backwards and uh, tucks them over to his head and <laughs> sleeps in a little ball. I don't know. So, uh, yeah, that's... I, I mean, it doesn't look very comfortable to me, but I guess that's his thing. So, you know, whatever floats your boat, right? All right, let's see, how much time do we have left on this meat? Three minutes, okay. So I should actually keep the meat in my inventory for now, but I will drop off the narco berries, and I'm gonna drop off most of my stuff, because this scouting mission we're about to go on is a very dangerous, uh, very dangerous place. So I'm gonna drop off most of the stuff that I own and leave that all here. I will take some berries, because I don't care that much if I drop those, and sand, I don't like sand. Get that sand out of my face. It's rough and gets everywhere, you know. If you guys like Star Wars, by the way, you'll get a lot of my references. I love Star Wars. I love referencing Star Wars. It's just good stuff all around. Okay, I'm going to drop off everything that I care about because there's a very good chance I won't come back alive from this. And there we go. We're going to head up to the other side of the island because uh, whenever there's one of these terminals nearby, or a glitch for that matter, um, Helena gets really distracted. Can she do it? Okay, she can do it with the terminal nearby, but if there's a glitch around, she gets really distracted. So the first thing I'm going to do is check out our bog biome base, which is the southeast, and we'll see if I get spawn camped by a crocodile, because that happens a lot. Um, we have a really, really nice house in the bog, but it's in a rough neighborhood, and that means usually uh, within about 30 seconds of spawning in, I've got something trying to eat me, which is kind of rough. Hey, Miles of Smiles, welcome, and Crunchy Puppy, so glad you're here. Oh no, your brother knocked out a tooth, that's crazy, is he okay? Glad you could join us, Dino Lord, yeah, a lot of people today. Here we are. Oh gosh, you lost your single player data, I am so sorry to hear that. Okay, getting up here quick. Ooh, okay. So uh, as soon as I get into the bog biome, I immediately run straight up that ladder. We kind of built like an escape ladder that we could use. Looks like there's nothing at all nearby. Okay, see a baryonyx out there. I am checking to see if there's a stegosaur nearby, because that would be even better than taming a triceratops, even though I'm not real fond of the bog biome. Looks like our base is holding out pretty well, though. By the way, guys, um, let me see if you can actually see where this is on the map. Yeah, you can kind of see it. So this spot is an amazing spot in the bog. Um, we have basically cleared out everything on this plateau. And uh, we have a really nice little base here. We've set up a grid of thatch foundations, which blocks anything from spawning on top of the plateau. And we put together some uh, wooden foundations on the edge of this, so we can actually be very well protected up here. All right, let's see if we left anything in our storage boxes. We've got a bed and a house. Uh, let's see here. Well, nothing really great over here either. Okay, well, it was worth a try. So, I don't know if you guys can see these very well, but uh, those little purple plants are actually amazing. They're full of narco berries, and I'm going to try to grab those before I leave. I'll show you this plateau real quick, though. We've been building here a little bit, and it's actually been a pretty awesome spot. Um, so, 
That wooden wall kind of protects us. Uh, we haven't been attacked by anything yet. It won't hold up against a ton of stuff, but I'm hoping to get a Dodicarus really soon. And a uh, Dodicarus will actually let us get ridiculous amounts of stone crazy fast. Also, I'm totally unarmed up here, so I'm being real careful, and I'm going to run if I see anything. But I do want to check real quick and just see if I can see a Stegosaur, because if I do, then I'm going to maybe try to tame that instead of going out to the lava area. And if I don't see a Stegosaur, I'm going to try to grab some Narco Berries and get the heck out of here before something gets me. So, let's see here. Haven't checked this side yet for any Stegos, but we'll see. So tired. Okay, uh, Crocodile, that's fun. We got a Sarku. I think I'm gonna leave him alone, and I think I'm gonna stay away from that area. Okay, cool. Well, glad we got that figured out. Oh no, I'm sorry you get wiped out, Emmy. Yeah, Genesis is really hard. It is... Hey, Bronto, you just stay out there, okay? I, I don't want to invite you to our base. Just not ready for a big visitor yet. But yeah, Genesis is crazy hard to start out on. Uh-oh, we got company. That would be a drone, okay. And more drones, great, just what I needed, all right. Gonna try to grab these real quick. Oh, I can hear them. You guys hear that? <laughs> That's the sound of death, and it's coming this way. Okay, can I get up here before I die? That's going to be the hard part. We'll find out very quickly. Okay, I'm tired. And I can hear the bees coming. Nope, this is going to be a short trip, you guys. Don't think I can live through this. Alright, well, that was fun. I think I am going to try to see if I can grab my stuff here real quick. And then we'll try to get out of here. It's good to be back. Oh Ready yeah, good to be back. Okay, let's see if that bug leaves me alone and I can just grab my stuff and run. <laughs> Looks like I had a little ways to go before I could get back out of here. Maybe I should actually fight it, sorry. We're gonna go and actually try to tame a Triceratops in a second, but I just realized I actually do have some spoiled meat in my inventory, and I do want to keep that, so I'm gonna see if I can shoot down that bug. I think I left a uh, bow and arrow up here. Let's see. Would've been nice if I brought some crossbows along with me, but you know, what can you do? All right, let's check the other storage box. I think we usually leave our weapons up here. Yeah, Sushi Fox, this is an awesome community. I really enjoy hanging out with all of you guys. It always makes our chats really fun. Oh, and hey, Leonida, welcome. There we go. I knew we had a bow somewhere. Okay. I'm gonna grab just a little bit of this stuff. Got some arrows. Nice. Okay. Okay. We'll see if we can show that little ant what's for, right? Alright, if I can get some flint and thatch, we'll be in good shape. Well, we could probably take him down with nine shots, we'll see. Hey, hey, anime! Welcome! Glad you could join us. Okay, there's the ant. Let's see if I can hit it from here. I'm not very good with a bow and arrow, as you can see. Whoa, nope, that was not the only one. Anyone else? Of course. Man, these things are so fast. Oh gosh. You guys see how much health I don't have right now? I think that was the last of the ants, though. Thank goodness. Uh, I guess I should grab some tools. Wow, guys, uh, somehow we survived that. Okay, that was cool. I'm afraid to punch anything because I might die from it, right? All right, let's see if I can get up here. I tell you what, the bog biome is no joke. I mean, it's crazy. It's kind of a bad idea for us to even have a house out here, but you know, this is about as safe as you can possibly get in the bog. <laughs> like those stupid ants are basically the only thing that can get us out here. I think I'm going to give myself just a little bit of health here. 
Okay. And I think I do have this. And we'll see if we can get some meat off these guys. I do still need a lot of meat. Hopefully we can get some chitin. We'll feed it to our Archaeopteryx. And then we're going to go out to the lava biome, which is even worse than this one. Alright, got some chitin. That's good. Hopefully that way I don't have to spend... What is this? Did you guys hear that? Is that just the sound of this? Yeah, okay. That was the dead drone making all that noise, freaking me out. Alright. Okay, well, I'm half dead, but I'm also half alive, so that's good news. I'm going to drop off my stuff here, because I don't have anything to really defend myself with. What is this? Oh, that's a brontosaur. Okay. <laughs> Talk about, like, giving me a heart attack here in the bog, right? Alright, let me drop off everything that I'm not too attached to. I'm going to see if I can run down there without dying, get my stuff back, and then teleport out of here. Because hopefully I've killed off all the dangerous stuff. And then we are going to try really hard to make some tranks and tame a triceratops in the fire biome. Sorry this is kind of a slow start, you guys. But at least it's given everybody a chance to kind of catch up, get online, and uh, you know chat a little bit. So at least there's that. Okay. This area looks relatively safe now. I always regret saying that when I say that, but we'll see. I'm gonna just let my stamina recharge for a second, because I don't like being on the ground for very long out here. But at least I'm pretty sure all of the ants came at me at once, so there shouldn't be any left down here. What was that? Every time I see anything move, I kind of freak out, so... Okay. Now, let's get out of here. Oh, come on. Really? Don't even know what just attacked me, but something just attacked me. So, let me get out of here as fast as possible. Better not be another one of those stupid ants. Okay, Bronto, hello. I'm getting out of here. And this is why we made this thing. Alright. You know, come to think of it, all the flying ants would have attacked me, but if there's any that don't fly, they're probably still chasing me right now. So I'm really glad I added some, uh, some run speed. Okay, time to get out of here. You guys ready to uh, get out of this bog? I am. Thanks. Goodbye. So, uh, we should actually have some spoiled meat now. Let's see. Yes, 30 spoiled meat. That's enough to get us some tranks going. Okay, great. And I'm just going to be a litter bug and dump all of this stuff out here. And then I'll catch up on chat a little bit, and we will head over to the fire biome and see if we can find a nice trank to trank. <laughs> Alright, how are we looking here? Got an Argent right down the road. Okay, that's fun. A couple Gallimimus stuck in the trees. Not too bad. And a trike. Okay. And then Iguanodon. Not bad. Okay. So far, nothing deadly yet. Let's see how that trike is looking. By the way, guys, um, there's a lot of obsidian all around here. So if you're looking for obsidian on Genesis, and you don't mind uh, probably dying a good bit, this is actually a great place to get that obsidian. Wow, okay, not just a triceratops, way too many triceratops. Alright, what do we got here? Female, level 8. That's exactly what I want right there. Okay. Low level trike would be amazing right now. And what is this one? Female 52. Mm. Don't know if I'm feeling ambitious enough. Whoa, dear. Okay. Time to run. Time to run. Don't know if I'm feeling ambitious enough to try to tame a 50 trike. But if I attack any of these guys, they're all coming for me, so that's another thing I gotta worry about. Okay, let's see. Let's see if there's any that are not quite so close together. Ooh. Also, I am slowly dying of heat. That's always fun. I don't really have any heat protection out here. Oh gosh, there's an Arjun up there. Great, just what I needed. Well, this might be worth a try. 
Oh my gosh, Cole Parmenter, thank you so much. Really appreciate the super chat. That's great. Okay, I'm gonna try something crazy here, guys. Just gonna see what happens. I'm gonna see if these trees can protect me from this trike. Because she seems to be pretty far from her herd. Okay, seems like she can't get in here very easily. I'm gonna have to recover for a minute. Alright. Come here. Alright, come over here. Great, great. Okay, okay. Now, I need her to get trapped in the trees. Okay, she's stuck. Maybe. We'll see. That <laughs> Gallimimus is totally stuck. Alright, did she lose? Oh, her friends are still here. Okay. Okay, great. I think everyone's lost interest. Okay. She seems to be pretty well stuck. Her friends are going to be a problem, though. Hmm. Well, we'll see what we can do. I'm going to head back. I am dehydrated already. Well, at least I may be able to use the trees to lose the other trikes, and hopefully they'll uh, kind of wander away from each other a little bit. And I'm going to come back with some tranks and we'll just see what happens, you guys. This is going to be kind of crazy, but I'm going to try to tame the level 8, see what I can do. And hopefully get back out of here before I literally burn to death, because that is going to be a factor. Okay, here we go. We'll see what happens. Woo! That was a surprise. Okay, here's the other one. This is the one that's going to be the problem, is this male. Okay, maybe I can get this thing to lose the other one up here. I'm going to be trying to use the forest to trap the Triceratops. Gosh, these Gallimimus are terrifying. Really? Did I seriously just miss that shot? Here we go. Okay, we're going to have some angry trikes here. Uh-oh. This may not be the one that I wanted in here. Gosh, that's the big one. Nope, nope, nope. This is bad. This is really bad. Okay. I'm gonna try to lose him in the trees. Well, that certainly could have gone better. Is he still mad? Oh gosh, I'm already at half health. This is not a good start. Just need you guys to get a little bit further apart. Okay, are you guys seeing this? I definitely hit that trike. There it goes. Whoop. Uh-oh. Oh boy, this is not good. This is not good. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, that was rough, you guys. That was rough. Alright, back to the ocean here. Well guys, that was fun, so uh, I need to separate those trikes a little bit more, but at least while I'm up here I can check for stuff. Definitely going to lose my progress on that trike, but let's see here. Yeah, I don't seem to have any stuff here either, okay. So we're just going to head back over there. Uh, those trikes seem to be the most dangerous things and they will have de aggroed by now, so at least I can get my stuff back. All right. They sure don't make it easy for you, right? Now, usually I can find a nice spot to, like, snipe a trike from, but uh, having these two trikes is really a problem. 
Now the other problem is I seem to be only actually hitting one out of every two arrows, and uh, I don't know about you guys, but I was pretty sure those actually made, they, they actually connected with that Triceratops, didn't they? I mean, they certainly looked like they worked. You guys cool? Great. A little bit sorry for trying to attack you guys, but not really. Sorry, not sorry. Okay. I think I'm going to try this one more time. I'll give them a little time to wander away from each other. Okay, this is the level 8. You know, maybe I'll just try this. Let's see, how far are they? <laughs> oh, it's so tempting, you guys. Hmm. Alright, I'm going to try this. Okay, that one is still coming. Oh man, this other guy is such a problem. What? Did he just knock over a tree? This is bad. Oh gosh, I'm stuck. I'm the one that's stuck this time. Okay. Please be stuck, you guys. Nope, nope, nope. Okay. Tell you what, if I can get these two away from her... Alright, they're in the clear now. Okay, this is either really good or really bad. Uh-oh. Might be stuck again. Oh gosh. I tell you what, you guys, they lost interest at just the right time. Whew. Okay, I'm running out of water fast, but I haven't started losing health yet. And they're pretty far down this way, so maybe... Maybe I can pull this off. Okay, I'm gonna get my stamina back. I'm just about out of water. Alright. Now where's the other ones? That's the real question. Is anyone coming at me from behind? No. Okay. Might be able to pull this off. And it seems to actually be working every time I hit her too, which is good. I think I got the trike stuck, but I'm afraid to move. By the way, if you're trying to tame a trike, getting it into trees is usually your best bet. Okay, here we go. She's unconscious. Gonna get her some berries. I'm gonna teleport back out of here because I'm already dying of heat stroke. Okay. So now that she's unconscious, she's gonna be slowly losing health, but that should be okay. I've got... Seven narcotics left, so seven tranks to keep her unconscious while she's taming up. I just stuck a stack of medjo berries, so... Alright, already 1% done taming, that's great. If I can stay back here, I might actually be okay, you guys, we'll see. So, uh, she's totally stuck, but if you teleport, it should actually bring your dinos with you most of the time. I've heard some people have trouble with that, but if you actually open up their inventory when you're porting, that apparently really helps. So at this point, I am trying to get my health and water back up. I'm trying to keep from dying here. Let's see here. Okay. Got my water, got my health. And now it's going to be a race against time to try to keep that thing unconscious. So I'm grabbing as many berries as I can. I probably should have done this before I went into the fire biome, but I didn't want to have you guys just have to hang out for too long. So this is a great time for me to catch up on chat. I'm going to get as much... Whoa, check out that dolphin, you guys. Hold on. Hold the phone. Okay. I don't want to get distracted, but I might be able to make this swim. Where's the sharks? Alright guys, let's see if this works. So I really need the raw meat. I'm not gonna risk losing any uh, tools this way. Man, Genesis is brutal, isn't it, you guys? Okay, let's see if I can make it back out safely. 
So like I said, it's like in Genesis, I feel like the fish are fishing for me, you know, like there's this, uh, there's this delicious food right there. And, uh, you know, I try to jump in the water to get it and I'm just, I'm just expecting them to come in and, and eat me while I do. Okay, got a few more Medjo Berries. We're gonna pop back over there. I'm gonna split this meat that I just got, and I'm gonna hit split all so it spoils as fast as possible. I'm not even worried about eating right now. Oh no! So we got this trike waking up. We got me burning to death, and then all of your phones are dying. So I tell you what, we are on quite a time crunch today. Oh nice, halfway tame, that's awesome. By the way, I don't know if you guys know this, but if a tame runs out of uh, runs out of food, it loses its taming ability. So the taming just goes right back down. Also, I am loving the fact that I died right here and knocked out the trike here, because it's like I got this nice green beacon telling me where this trike is. Okay, I'm going to try to get this trike all the way back up. Get back up to 355. Yeah, we're over halfway, which is pretty exciting. <sighs> Honestly, when I saw that this trike was guarded by a couple other level 50 trikes, I was pretty worried whether this was actually going to work or not. I don't want to stay in the fire biome for too much longer. Um, I'm really tempted to try to tame some of these stegos down here, but uh, I just don't have enough tranks yet. Like, I'm not going to be able to keep everything unconscious. Okay, cool. We'll head back to the islands, get some more stuff. All right, let's see here. We're gonna head up to the cliff base. And this is actually a pretty cool spot. Oh no, sorry, Emmy, your internet's cutting in and out. That's always sad. Oh, check it out, guys, the metal is back. So I built this base way up here on this cliff. And the main reason I did it is so I can teleport out here. So I don't know if you guys can really get a full picture of how high up in the air I am right now, but this is one of the biggest islands on the, on the ocean right here. I flew all the way across here. Like, if you look as far as you can possibly see in the distance, that's where I came from. I tamed an Archaeopteryx, flew all the way across the map, and that's how I ended up here. And I was able to put a base up here where there's lots of metal. Uh, this is not an emissions area, so I can actually build up here to my heart's content, even on official servers. And if you guys missed how I got up here, uh, check out on the channel homepage. You should see the Arc Genesis Live Adventures one. And episode is one is where I came all the way up here flying on an Archaeopteryx, like a hangar. But I showed you guys some pretty cool tricks, which lets you, uh, you know, head all the way up there. Now, I'm not going to spend a lot of time harvesting stuff right now, because, um... I don't want to lose my trike team. I'm still still got to keep packing back over there pretty often. Oh yeah, Jen is actually working late tonight, so she's subbing for uh, one of her coworkers. So she'll be home uh, probably close to eight, which is why I'm wrapping up the stream. Then we're gonna have dinner together, but I will definitely tell her all of you guys said hi. She always uh, really enjoys that. Okay, gonna drop off some stuff here. So this is actually a pretty amazing metal base up here. I'm going to check one more metal node, and then we'll head back over to the trike. So we should have one more up here. I'm always worried I'm just one day I'm just going to be running, and I'll just fall right off the cliff. Also, I just love the fact that I can just run through the fields and just eat everything in sight. Like, sprinting full speed and just nomming everything I see. It's just so fun and so gratifying, right? Like, don't you wish you could do that in real life? Just snacks everywhere and just eat everything. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got here. Looks like the rich metal node is back. So at this point in the game, like, this is really all the metal I'm going to need. Okay, so I'm totally getting sand out of this metal node. That's kind of crazy. <laughs> Thanks, Leonida. 
Yeah, actually, a lot of people have said I'm like the gaming Bob Ross, which, quite frankly, like, I like that, you know? I like being relaxing and having a good time with you guys, you know? Arc doesn't have to be stressful, not even Arc Genesis. I mean, we've certainly had some exciting moments, don't get me wrong, but, uh... Alright, I should probably head back pretty soon. So I'm gonna grab some of this metal, teleport it back out with me. I probably should get some more stone before I go, but this should be okay for now. So next thing on my list is to tame a Dodicarus, and uh, those things are just amazing stone-gathering machines. They will get so much stone, it's not even funny. By the way, um, I have no way to get down to a water source here, which is why I have to fast travel, drink all the water I need, and then teleport back out here. It's kind of crazy. I have to remember to leave my tools here, because if I forget my tools, um, there's no way to get them back without flying all the way across the ocean and climbing all the mountains, so I'm real careful about that. But right now I'm totally overweight, and I'm going to teleport back to the raft. 98%! Oh man! I'm going to try not to waste any more tranks than I have to, because he does still have a decent amount of torpidity, and as long as I stay here and watch him, we should be okay. This is such a crazy environment, isn't it, you guys? Alright, there goes my water. I'm gonna get that back real quick. And once my water's gone, I'm gonna have to teleport back out of here. Oh, there we go! Okay. Okay. Getting out of here right away. Alright, Helena, where are you? Where are you? Stay still, stay still. Dang it, this trike. Okay, stop all. That Triceratops was stomping so much I couldn't get this guy to hold still. Okay, we're gonna do this, you guys. We're gonna head back to the island, and hopefully our trike will come with us. Once again, if uh, your trike isn't coming with you, if you open up its inventory, a lot of times it will. Alright, guys, we have... Oh, hey, welcome, Katie! Glad you could join us! Oh, yeah, I love Bloodstalkers. They're so awesome, because they can just grab everything as they're swinging around. It is kind of like a grappling hook. So, you guys, this Triceratops we just tamed needs a name. It is, uh, you know, something fiery, and we made it back to safety, you guys. We pulled off a trike tame in the fire biome, and now we have this glowing, awesome Triceratops, and this is going to make our life so much easier. But let's get a saddle on this guy, and you guys, vote for its name. So I really like the idea of naming it some kind of fire-type name, um... So let me know in the comments if we get some suggestions. I'll let you guys kind of vote on that. And meanwhile, I'm going to actually make the strike saddle. Let's see here. What do we need here? Okay, 140 hide and 25 wood. Pretty sure I got the wood to burn. I mean, literally, I'm burning the wood right now. I guess I'll wear a hat while I'm at it. Okay, I need all the hide I can get my hands on. Eventually, I'm going to go out and actually hunt some more stuff, get some more hide, but for now, we'll just use this. Alright, any more hide? I always forget where stuff is stored out here. So how are you doing, Katie? Glad you could join us. Okay, don't have any more hide, so I'm going to have to buy some. All right. Let's see, how are we doing? 54. So... Need about 100. So thankfully I do have a decent amount of hexagons G'day, here. Here's what I've got. G'day, Helena. Let's do this again. I think that's gonna do it. Oh man, here we go guys. This is gonna be a game changer. We finally have our first dinosaur safely. If I can just jump. There we go. Alright. Gotta get a drink. So I could actually make some uh, water jars. I actually have a place where I can get a lot of good crystal. But I kind of want to check out the snow biome and see if I can tame some good stuff now that we finally have this Triceratops. Oh man, guys. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Wait, did I just level up? Did he level up? Oh, there we go, okay. Melee damage, yeah! 
Do you guys see that? I did like one swipe and then he is completely overloaded with berries. That is just obnoxious, you guys. <laughs> okay, I'm going to grab all the medjo berries and maybe a couple stacks of tinto berries. Oh, now I'm overweight. Thanks. Okay. And now we're going to just do this. Bye. -bye. We're basically going to make this whole island bare, so bear with me for a second. Okay, 300 pounds of berries gone. And now let's do it again. Yeah, we're stuck again. This is good stuff. This is really good stuff. Okay. Uh, you know what? I better hop off here and, uh, while well, I can still move. Um, let's see here. What can I drop right now? Okay, we're gonna do this. <laughs> I'm gonna use this guy as a storage box. Why can I not select him? There we go. Things have been a little bit glitchy tonight. I don't really know what the deal is, but oh well. Okay, I'm gonna drop all the heavy stuff over here. See if I can move. There we go. Great. I didn't think about how weight is going to be probably our biggest problem with this trike, because that's so obnoxious how fast he can harvest stuff. Okay, now when we've got a lot of meat, we're going to be in great shape for tranquilizers, so yeah. Alright, here goes five more. And, uh, I don't know, what do you think? I think we've got enough berries now to last us for quite a while, so maybe I should go fishing, try to get some fish meat. You guys want me to go for a swim? Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Should we go for a swim, or should we go try and hunt some small animals? Ah, sand, get it out of here. I don't like sand. So yeah, let me know in the comments what you guys would like me to go and hunt. I could go out to the bog biome. Oh. First, though, let's go do this. Once again, guys, if you're new here, the fish are fishing for me. They're like, hey, here's some free food. Just come on in the water. This is what it feels like to get fished when you're a fish. Okay, cool. Well, that was a good haul right there. Come here, fish. Come here. You know what I really need is a seagull. Oh, that was terrifying, wasn't it? <laughs> Have you guys ever tamed a seagull? It is one of my favorite animals in Ark, believe it or not. And uh, I have a major love-hate relationship with seagulls because they're amazingly helpful and horribly, obnoxiously terrible when they're in the wild. But, let's see, we're gonna just split all of those. And then split all of these. And we're just gonna spoil all this food as fast as possible. So in about 10 minutes, we're going to have a lot of meat, which can be converted into tranks. We'll grab a little bit more with this trike while we're at it. And then we'll have enough for trank arrows to go and try to tame something else. And I'm thinking I might actually go ahead and set up that thing in the snow biome. I keep forgetting how overweight this guy is. You know what? Can you walk without me on you? Come here. Come here. Okay. Let's see. Is that a shark? Why are you still following me? I could have sworn I told you to stop. Okay. Back away from the edge. And stay. There we go. Okay. Now one nice thing about having this raft... Hmm. Can I drag Phoenix? Yes, I can. Okay, good. <laughs> oh gosh, this is so... Oh, this is so terrifying. <laughs> So, I'm trying to save Phoenix, because if I, if I, uh, if I go away on this raft, <laughs> it's gonna just drop him in the ocean. And that's definitely happened to me before. So, let's just move him a little bit. <laughs> Sorry, Phoenix, when you watch this later, it's for your own good. <laughs> oh, this looks so uncomfortable. So, Phoenix, if you wake up with some rug burns on your face... <laughs> oh, gosh! He's so terrifying, you guys. But he's still sleeping like a baby. And looks like I can still access his inventory, so that's cool. Okay, um, yeah, so I don't want to swim all the way over there, so I'm just gonna actually pilot the raft over and pick up that shark, because that should have a lot... Hey, come on! <laughs> really? Thanks, shark. That was... Oh, hey, a free fish. Well, that's cool, at least. 
So, I don't know if you guys have noticed this on your Genesis map, but I've had a lot of fish just pop out of the water and die like this. Wait, do you guys see that Basilosaur? It did it too! Oh my gosh! Okay, let me get over there. Okay, look off in the distance. There's just like a whale that just beached itself and died. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Can I get there fast enough though? That's gonna be the question. This is actually an amazing find if I can get this thing harvested. Alright, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. Alright, almost, almost. Come on. I don't really want to go in the water. Nope, don't break the raft, that's bad. Nope, come on, come on. Okay. I'm gonna have to go in the water for a second. Any sharks eating me? Not yet, not yet, okay. Look at all that oil and hide, you guys. This is awesome. As long as I don't die from this. Wow, there's so much of it. This is crazy. Please don't be any sharks nearby. Okay, so far, oh, nope, so far so good. That tail freaked me out for a second. Okay. Well, that would have been enough hide to make a trike saddle, but at least we can make our next saddle here. Uh, let's see if I can cook this prime meat fast enough, because this is great stuff if I can cook it. I think my fire is right there, yes. Well guys, that was a pretty lucky find right there, right? <laughs> Okay, we can only get two prime meat in here at a time, so we're just going to cook that as fast as we possibly can. I don't think seagulls will eat raw prime meat, will they? I don't know if that would be. Man, these eels are crazy. I kind of want to hunt them, but I've actually seen their electricity come out of the water a little bit, and I definitely don't want to die, so... <laughs> That's awesome, Godzilla, King of Monsters. That's such a perfect thing to be watching while you're playing Ark, isn't it? I love it. By the way, this is the East Island on uh, the ocean biome, and this is a really great spot right here. Okay, let's see. I actually don't have any spark powder for uh, cooking this prime meat and keeping that from spoiling, but at least I can cook a little bit of it, and that'll make it take at least a while before it spoils. I am super excited about this oil, though. That's going to be really handy and save us a lot of trouble. And uh, we actually made a preserving bin just for that reason. But we do need to make a lot more Narcos to be able to do that. <laughs> oh, there's Phoenix just being watched over by uh, Char the Triceratops. This is going to be awesome when he wakes up. Let's see here. I'm going to try to set this right here so he'll wake up with the Triceratops like licking him in the face. It'll be great. Okay. So, uh, let's see. Oh, dang, that's the wrong bird. <laughs> I saw this bird way up there, and I was like, seagull? So I'm going to drop off some of this stuff here. See if I can see some fish. I do see a lot of glowing things. All of them deadly. So the sun is just coming up here. I don't think I want to get too close to these electric eels, though. They can be really bad news. Is that a dolphin or a shark? That is always the question in the biome down here. You know, every other shot... <laughs> Does that happen to anybody else? Where, like, you shoot something and it just doesn't work? So, uh, I saw Helena's blue glow, and it kind of freaked me out. I was like, oh gosh, is that a shark? <laughs> this is actually kind of fun, like, diving for fish in the nighttime. Alright, we're getting some decent meat here. Well, that's all the time we have for today, but we hope you really enjoyed this episode of our Let's Play Arc Genesis Live series, and be sure to give it a thumbs up if you did. Also, make sure you subscribe to this channel and ring the bell to enable all notifications because we have lots more Arc Genesis fun coming your way, and you're not going to want to miss that. 
In the next episode, Phoenix and I are planning to go and explore the Arctic biome and try to establish a base. I have a really awesome taming pen trick that I figured out which will make it really easy to get really awesome tames, and we are hoping to tame a Dodicarus up in the Arctic biome. So be sure to tune in next time, keep an eye out for that video, it should be lots of fun, and we will see you then. Thank you so much for watching this video from the ARK Survival Guide. If you enjoyed it or found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it on social media. That helps us so much. Be sure to subscribe to this channel and ring the bell to enable all notifications because we have lots of awesome new ARK videos and live streams coming soon and you won't want to miss any of them. You can do so many awesome things in ARK, but it is really hard to figure out on your own. Check out the links at the end of this video to browse our huge library of fun, clean, and helpful ARC guides, tips, tricks, live streams, and let's plays. If you would like to earn awesome rewards while supporting this channel, click the join button or link next to the subscribe button to learn more about our new channel memberships. You can also join our awesome Discord community at the link in the description of this video or on top of the channel homepage. And if you want to see my wife and I play lots of other fun video games together, visit our other YouTube channel, The Console Co-op Couple, using the link in the video description or in the channel homepage. And now I want to give a shout out to some of the biggest supporters of this channel. A special thank you to our biggest supporters, Sabo0283, Cole Parmenter, Wolf Girl Be Like, Kelly Rajak, and Emmy Fisher. You guys are all awesome and we so appreciate your support. Now, if you'd like to be a monthly supporter and get a shout out at the end of our videos, check out the join button next to the subscribe button for more information about that. And for everyone else, thanks so much for watching and we will see you in the next video.